Hello everybody, welcome to my workbench again. Um, what I have in front of me is uh, the schematic I drew up uh, a little while ago from my homebrew uh, RF uh, signal generator. So uh, as you can see here the concept of this signal, uh, signal generator. What is most important is the oscillator itself here. It's a, a special uh, oscillator actually. It resonates between the two grids. That means that uh, uh, all the capacitance that is between uh, cathode and grid and anode and grid is not applicable anymore. So uh, uh, the oscillator won't uh, react to that. So normally if you have an oscillator, say in a, in a Hartley oscillator, then uh, those capacitance that are in the valve itself uh, play a great role. So as soon as the, the valve starts to warm up, uh, all the capacitances in that valve will change as well. But it has the immediate effect of a frequency change. So in this uh, setup, in this oscillator, you won't have any trouble with that. So um, it doesn't uh, care about the capacitance in the, uh, in, in the valve itself. So it doesn't react to that anymore. Nor will it react to the input voltage. If that changes slightly, he won't react to that either. So that's a big, great big advantage. So what I, what I want to talk about now is that this the following. I use this uh, uh, RF signal generator on uh, several radios now and uh, to be honest it works very well but I'm not very happy with some things and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the first of all is the readout. The, the readout as you can see is with a uh, feed-through uh, ceramic capacitor 100 picofarads straight onto the frequency counter. It's a modern frequency counter you can buy on uh, on the internet. So you buy for 8 uh, euros or so, but it will be probably the same 8 dollars or something like that. It's a ridiculous price. So that, uh, what, what, I'm, what I'm using it as, as, uh, as a frequency uh, counter. The other point is um, there are two levels of frequency change. Firstly, when the coupling here is too heavy, too tight, then it will affect the valve. It will affect the valve. Well, what I'm certain about is that this 100 picofarad uh, free through capacitor is just right. Yeah? So, what I'm having um, how you say that, suspect is going on is that the voltage on this frequency counter is not high enough. I will show you that in a, in a little bit. It's not high enough. So, then this frequency counter starts to jump up and down, especially in the lower figures. He starts to uh, the jump up and down. It doesn't mean really that the oscillator is uh, is not keeping his frequency. No, it is the frequency counter that can't can't keep up with him. That's that's all. The second thing I want to talk about is that is about the attenuator. What I noticed with the, with uh, with using of the, uh, this. Uh, 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 RF uh, signal generator. I have two cathode followers here. Yeah? And it seems to me that uh, one, cathode, one cathode follower can be switched off. So I don't need them both because if I switch from 3 dB on, then it's, the signal is hardly noticeable anymore. In other words, all those stages here, these two steps, won't work. Not that is a, a, a problem, it's not a problem at all, otherwise I would have done it before or earlier, changed it earlier, but uh, it is not an issue, it works, that, that, that's uh, the main issue. So, what I want to do, I will try, is uh, to get one of those fo cathode followers off, say for instance I will uh, uh, make a connection uh, from this 100 picofarad to the grid, 
straight on to the antennator. So I will just bypass this valve. I leave everything in place. I just will disconnect the high voltage from the, from the anode. That's what I want to do. And then see what's, what's going on if those stages start to work properly as is intended. So I, I didn't get round to that yet. So I'm not uh, now into uh, videos and this and that on the internet. So uh, that's what this is about. That's what I'm going to, going to try to change on this uh, RF homebrew uh, signal generator. I will uh, talk a bit more about, uh, about the schematic. This is uh, the, the tone uh, generator with, with a choke and two capacitors. That has in term has an, an amplifier, yeah, and that uh, feeds into uh, the anode. It's not very uh, well, uh, well <laughs> uh, how do you call that rocket science. It's just simple things. Uh, it works and it works very well actually. So uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, to put uh, the signal generator on the, on the bench, and I'm going to show you uh, how I come to that conclusion what I said just now. From the frequency counter, that I suspect that the oscillator is uh, functioning normal, but the frequency counter doesn't get this voltage. So I will show you that. Just hold for a minute and I'll change the position of the camera. Hi guys, back again. So there we is, our signal generator. I will uh, switch to the lowest part and we'll switch on. Just want to warm up a bit. I think that's about the, the lowest it's getting yet. Yeah, 144, uh, 136. Well, there you go. 134. That's the lowest he's going. He's getting. You see this uh, this figure here. He's jumping up and down a bit. It's quite stable, you can see the frequency is quite stable, it stays 134, but my point is in the lowest frequency you have the stability quite good, quite well. I get my finger out of the way, I put my pencil. Um, as you can see if it's 134 it doesn't change much. So if I go up, that's even lower, what did I say? Have a look at that. That's the limit of uh, the frequency meter, 100 kilohertz. And if I go lower, need <laughs> that. But it also it still works. That's to write that. So you can fine tune with this. Yeah. Here, going to higher up. 157 is highest. Well, it doesn't really matter how high it gets. The point is. Um, these are quite stable. Then we'll come band up and we go to uh, have the lowest. The lowest part is 136 is overlapping. So um, you go up to 325, perhaps a bit higher. Let's have a look. No, not really. 328. Oh, it's only for fine tuning, so if you have to uh, do something, then uh, we go up a band higher. Yeah. That's the highest is 660, and the lowest 270. Well, you get the point. Yeah. What I want to talk about is, you see now we only have this last, last digit here, it's just jumping. And then this, uh, this digit is not jumping at all. So this, this frequency is stable, so you can minutes and minutes and perhaps a half hour you will stay there. And I say that now, he starts to run off. Have a look. Perhaps not. And I think that's due to the fact that there's not enough silicon coming into the, to the uh, frequency counter. I can prove that to you. You know, if the frequency gets higher, the amplitude gets gets smaller. 
So uh, instead of setting, so for instance, it is uh, uh, five volts. You go step one, one step higher. It drops down to three volts or something like that. And uh, the higher you get, the lower the, the lower uh, the amplitude will be. So well, if I go up now on frequency, and you can see. I'll put this on, on, let's put them on, on 8, but put them on 8. That's, that's a nice amount of frequency. You see how stable it is? It's not really unstable, but I want it more, have, I want it have more stability. I want to have more stability. I remember very fussy about that. You see, if it starts to run off, he's it, going down. See, then now he runs away. And that's not, necess that's not necessarily the oscillator itself. It, the oscillator itself. I, I think it will be uh, the, the frequency counter. That's what I think. And what I wanted to do is uh, to put in uh, a transistor in there. To improve on uh, on the signal strength, so I can go up to 14 megahertz, I suppose. See, that's the highest, and I can adjust it to 14. Hopefully, uh, you see how sensitive this is, and you can imagine you would like. I have those last two digits a bit uh, more, you know, more quiet. This is jumping up and down too much to my liking. That's the point. And I don't think it is the oscillator itself, but I just think it is the frequency, the, the frequency uh, uh, counter, what is doing this. I think because the amplitude uh, gets smaller, because the signal strength goes lower, he starts to react to that. I think that you can see that it's a bit more unstable. I want to get, I get out of this. Just the next thing I want to do is uh, get myself a transistor and uh, amplify this a little bit and see uh, if we can get around to uh, more stability here. Well, it only cost uh, 80 cents or something like that, so it's hardly worth your while. So, what I want to do now is uh, yeah, get, get, get a, a sort of amplification in there and see if, uh, if it gets better or not. You see if we go, that's the highest frequency, 34 megahertz. You see, and it gets worse. It gets worse, you see that? It's jumping up and down, up and down. And as I suspect the signal uh, amplitude is not great enough. Because there is nothing there to, to amplify, you see. There is a straight on from the front of the grid, from the screen grid, with a with a feed-through capacitor, straight on to the frequency counter. There's nothing in between. So um, I suspect that is the trouble. And that's the first thing I want to address. So the second thing I want to address is this this this, this attenuator I have here. To get that, if, if I put that, flick that switch, the signal is nearly gone. So I want to use this other. To, this is working, but we're working right. So not that it's in uh, as much trouble. I, don't, I didn't, didn't bother, but until now, I didn't now um, into video on, on on YouTube and with my channel. I'll uh, like to share share that with you. So. Uh, I'm going to shut it down now and I'm going to investigate this and, and come back to you when I have something uh, to tell you and uh, then on camera we will uh, change this. You see uh, the stability is still alright, it's, it's not much, much change but the change is too much for my liking. You see it jumps down to 70 and it jumps down to 71 and it goes back to 70 or 72 and it keeps running up and down. It drives you around the wall, up the wall. So, um, if you have high frequencies and high frequency bands, I want to have this stable. So, so uh, 
I'll see you next time, guys.